Welcome tankers, this is MacLogo, back with a small review of my brand new T27 premium tank, the Czech T8 premium tank, and I was really looking forward to this tank coming in, um, as I've seen, seen it on PC, and I really like how it looks, and it also seemed very nice there. Um, and I had, uh, I think, about 11 or 12 games in this tank, and I think I kind of know how it works, or how it doesn't work, and there, there are some significant uh, changes or updates to uh, the premium that PC got. So, let's jump into the, the review. Um, this tank is basically uh, related to the tier 9 and tier 10 tanks, as you can see it's also similar form and it also has a 3 shot autoloader as the tier 9, but not like the Ragnarok, it only has 240 um, damage or alpha. So the burst percent potential of it is smaller. At the same time, as you can see, it does reload in 25 seconds. Um, it has a buffed um, accuracy, 0, uh, 0.35, um, 0.38 was the Ragnarok. So that is more of a short distance tank, while this can fight longer distances. The horsepower is um, 900, and I think on PC it's 1000. But the um, power to weight ratio seems to be the same, which is weird. Um, then there's APCR and AP shells, a nice shell velocity, 1000 and 1200 basically, it's really nice for the tank. And um, I think the gun is actually good at mid-range. So look, let's look at the armor, um, as you can see <laughs> there's basically no armor. Um, the, the most that it can have is, is 90 somewhere, but basically it's, it's a paper tank. It's it's 40 to, to 65 or so. The front, the hull is 65. It can bounce uh, some odd shots when, it, when they really hit you sideways, but it, it won't. You have just to stay back or stay in, in cover, just peek to shoot. Otherwise, um, any shot should actually go into the tank. And it doesn't matter if it's versus tier 6 or if it's versus tier 10, because um, uh, there's, this is basically no, no armor. So, let's jump into some gameplay. Um, I've got two games that I want to show you. Uh, they were not superb, but it was just enough to show what the tank can do, what it can't. And I think you can see the limits here um, in this game. So, we're on El Haluf, all tier 8 game, and a few tier 7s, and I think only one tier 6, uh, poor guy. So, um, with um, Buchti, which is the rations that Jack use, and uh, Brother in Arms, just the max thing that you can do, um, we get a basically 22 second reloads. And um, I'm here, I'm trying to, to be a little bit aggressive and also go for the spots, maybe get some shots at, at heavies or so that are crossing here. Um, I'm going this way because I've got a 380 meter view range with a good crew with all kinds of um, view range skills and the tank has, has a fairly nice camo so I think I can get the three shots into this rev. But yeah, the one shot flies over the tank. Um, the, the gun is nice, um, it aims in faster than the, the Ragnarok, it was I think also a little bit buffed, which is nice, but uh, it's still it doesn't, it's not a, a cannon that wants to snapshot or that can snapshot very well. And also it uh, should be aimed in, otherwise um, we'll bounce a lot. Uh, here I missed the, the tanks, yeah. And not uh, an issue of the tank, but <laughs> just my bad aim. And um, we're already again in, in the reloads. Uh, the thing is, um, you kind of have 70, 720 um, burst potential. Um, and if you miss a shot, it's even less. So um, you have to reload a lot, and I feel um, you kind of uh, miss on some damage. And you really have to rack up the damage quickly, other, otherwise um, the teams are already wasted and you won't get any any damage in. And that's a, one of the downsides I feel the tank has. You can burst out the, the, the shots very quick, and um, but if you don't pen them then you will just wait another 22 seconds until you can shoot again. So it really takes a while to rack up damage. Um, and I'm waiting here because I want, don't want to get hit straight away by the ref. So as soon as I'm, as I'm loaded, I'm pushing in, trying to get these guys out, but 
8 degrees of combat pressure also, which is also nice, but uh, here I should have aimed for, for something else than the middle of the gun mantlet. And I'm hiding my tank because this is an RT target. It's basically like a light tank and any uh, artillery will pin it. And um, so far I've shot quite a lot of, of shots, but only pins six of them. Which is 1,422. Not really a lot. But uh, the game is still going, so we so try to rack up some damage. And um, I have to be careful here if, well, that I don't push too far. Maybe get some shots into the lower plate of this guy or the side. And <laughs> the last shot goes in, don't know how. Um, the thing is, the base pen is similar to the Ragnarok. Um, it's 200. It's it's actually fair for a tier 8, but kind of very low if you compare to uh, to a Draugen or to uh, you know these top guns that have uh, APCR with 240. And here, actually, the premium shells have 240 to pen. So, um, if you're fighting nines or a lot of heavies or tens, you basically need APCR. And even then, 240 is very limited, but yeah, it's an old loader, so it also has to be fair. And here I'm trying to track the guy. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's a diamond back, so a little bit uh, hard to pin. I would have to get his, really at his uh, weak spots and then trying to shoot more from the sides. So again I have to reload, wait, get into in cover. And <laughs> there's a yes you so we'll take this guy out of the game. He looks looks like he's not in the game. And I try to pen this guy or to track this guy again. And there's a tiger too moving in. So the next reloads um, the reload is, isn't that long, but let's say there's a tiger pushing you, you can pump 720 um, damage in, maybe if you pen all shells, and then you wait 20 22 seconds, which is deadly. Here I derp this shot, shot under the tank, which is bad, could have taken him out, and um, I think it's a ice 3 stock ice 3 or something like that, he seems to struggle with this guy. Now I'm... I'm targeted so I'm running away because I guess it's the <laughs> this is RT a pen or even if they don't hit you they'll just pen you and it's yeah this isn't the fun part about this tank we have to avoid trying to get shot by RT um, but yeah I mean that's that's to all the tanks RT isn't that fun for any any other tank than RT um, here sh I should have followed the shots and went for the for, went for the um, uh, the diamond back. And you know, so I, so at some level, I don't get the gun down, so I have to auto lock. I'm not gonna get him off the board. So I would have had two shots, maybe to track him and to to get one shot in. Um, I guess I would have been more damage, but now I still I just have to wait until I get. Uh, the reload in, and as you can see, I've only racked up 300 uh, 3k damage, which isn't a lot. If with the Ragnarok, it would have much more in this in the same time. And then we take him off the board. It was a, an okay game, but um, the limit is basically the burst damage 720 plus um, kind of the the gun, and it's it's basically a paper tank, so. Not like the Ragnarok, where you can really deal damage when you're near this tank. You only deal 720, and then you have to run away and uh, be away. So, I think the enemies are not that afraid of, of this tank as they would be of the Ragnarok. But I think it's also another place that Ragnarok is maybe more near. And uh, this tank can fight over distance as it has a 0 0.35 accuracy. And I think that's a good move by Wargaming by buffing the gun uh, up in the accuracy. So it has a role kind of. It's an auto loader that can fight the mid distances uh, pretty well, or maybe also 
kind of long distance, not not really good, but it can hit shots, so that's a good thing. So the second game uh, I would like to show you is a tier 10 game, and I've preloaded APCR because no way I'm going to try to to penetrate tier 10s with um, 200 um, pen. So yeah, I'm not feeling bad about it because yeah, the APCR is just. Uh, yeah. A normal shell maybe for other for tier A tanks and um, I would like to go to the, to the hill to where I normally go to spot to have some, some uh, maybe some spotting assistance and also get shots into the tanks um, this was actually one of the first games I had so I think it was the, f in, it was the first or the second game um, and I'm moving up to to this to the in to this hill here because the other one is already crowded and I tried to get some shots in so here I wasn't quite uh, aware of the gun how it would handle and yeah. I missed these shots because um, my bat's not well aimed I wasn't used yet and um, just trying to, to stay back a little bit um, then go for maybe some spots Open up maybe some other tanks and get side shots into these guys. Uh, the gun depression is nice, but it's not, um, I mean, it's not superb, it's just 8 degrees, which is good for a tank, also for especially for an autoloader, it's good. But uh, yeah. no chance of penning this guy here. Would have needed to to hit the, the weak spot perfectly, the flat spot with the sights, with the optics. But yeah, that's um, again. I'm going for reload. So far, I had no impacts whatsoever in this game. Had a little bit of spotting damage, luckily, but other than that, um, not a lot. So I'm trying to help here to support my tanks and let's see the Valor, and also the other guys. And I'm not pushing up too far yet because I'm, I can get hit basically by anything here. So I'm waiting, trying to, to get things lit. And <laughs> again, not, not used to the gun. And maybe also a little bit unlucky. Thought he would pop up again, and um, I've basically wasted a lot of APCR shells here uh, without hitting anything really. So now I, I see these guys, I'm, I'm going to help here, and think um, here the, the 720 is okay, but the Ragnarok would have been nicer, as you can see here. Didn't track, and I'm going underneath, so I can maybe get them to turn the, the turrets and of course my gun depression isn't isn't the one isn't as on par with these tanks luckily the other tank is looking away we are racking <laughs> and he he actually hits my front plate which as I said before can bounce and I will uh, straight again go down and support the, the type as soon as my, my clip is reloaded. And we get the kill and one more shot into the, the chieftain. So one clip that was um, full pent. But as I said before, um, it's only 720 burst damage so very limited and I see the, the, the Valor behind and the, the VK that will possibly lose versus these guys so I will actually help here yeah it's already gone 720 would actually be in the range of clippable but I would have to pen every shot and that's a little bit hard to do but still I'm pushing in I want to uh, we pen the first and we pen the second and we pen third and low roll so no 720 would be the burst potential if you would not low roll <laughs> so yeah but it should be enough uh, fast reloads to, to be reloaded once he shows up and um, I could get a nice sneaky shot in from here without him 
being able to hit me. <laughs> but uh, he also sees that, but I, I think. Yeah. yeah. I didn't dare want to avoid the shot. I just thought maybe I would just push out. I should have enough health. But it was still kind of uh, scary. I guess I saw, thought he wouldn't ro roll a little higher or set it on fire. The tank isn't that much vulnerable to fire. I think it's only about 10 or 12 percent fire chance. So we were able to kill two tier tens, which is nice, but um, yeah, a mediocre game. And again, um, anything will, will pen it. So going one to one versus one with with these. Um, Tier tens is basically uh, you know, a recipe to die. Um, but I think you know supporting others and getting sneaky shots in that's the role of the tank if you if you're playing on the higher um, in higher tiers. Um, as a as a low tier, I mean it's it's like a light. Its strength is in the in the last parts of the game or in the late game. But um, still, if you do not do the damage early, then uh, your team will be in a, I guess, in a losing spot, so you still have to, to kind of play as top tier, especially not just sit back and, and wait for <laughs> you know to get um, get into late game, just participate, but maybe out of a position where you don't get shots, so you can keep the health points and then try to, to support your, your team and try to, to knock out those tanks that are that are not anymore full health or that you can do with your. Um, with your gun and with your health points. So far I, I really enjoyed the tank. Um, it's kind of not meta or let's say it's not strong but it's fair and it should be basically the tank that they should have had at tier 8 in the tech tree. That's my opinion. This would be a nice a nice tank to, to play. But anyway it's a premium and I, I really want this tank. There are a few tanks that are left. Premiums that I really want. This was one of them. That's why I'm happy to have I've got it, and as soon as I been I'm able to do an ace tanker, I will of course post that video. So I hope you had uh, fun watching the video. Thank you very much. Take care and.